Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, I'm right as rain. Couldn't be better if I tried. Boy, do I have a treat for you. Well, while uh, camping here in Quartzsite, I've made some new friends, Tracy and Terry, and they have a 2005 Freightliner bus that they've converted themselves. You wanna take a look at it? Let's do that. And as always, right on cue, here comes the wind, but we're gonna do our very best and uh, maybe with a little bit of luck, we won't have any wind noise. But I can't wait to show you their little bus called Jenny. This is Jenny, the 2005 Freightliner bus. And uh, these guys have been working on it now for two years. But there's uh, it's kind of got a neat twist to it. Would you believe that they bought this bus here for $5,000. It's a 2005 model, but get this, it only had 25,000 miles on it. They found it on Craigslist and it came out of, uh, came out of Washington, DC. And it uh, actually came from a deaf school. So this bus was used to uh, transport the deaf children around Washington, DC, but you know, with that low of miles, it probably pretty much just uh, stayed on campus. So we have Jenny the bus, Dolly the car dolly, and they have their Ford Escape. I believe it's an Escape, and uh, they call it Charlotte. But this bus was originally yellow. And they picked the blue and white color scheme. These boxes uh, were added by uh, a brother-in-law. He's a welder. So they have plenty of storage to store their uh, some goods on the outside. I'll tell you what, to me it looks like it's always been there. Tracy and Terry. But... Uh, this Freightliner bus is running a Caterpillar engine, an Allison transmission. Uh, they told me that all they've had to do to it, they replaced the steer tires and just uh, flushed the fluids. Let's see if we get over here to the other side where the wind's at. This here is their uh, solar system. It's just uh, portable panels that uh, Tracy here made a stand for powers everything that they need inside the bus. Isn't that handy? Show you this side here. So they painted the bus, they put boxes along the sides, but one neat thing about it are these custom screens. They were telling me, and uh, Tracy made these screens, he's like, no two of these were the same. They were all off a half inch to three quarters of an inch. But I haven't seen many buses they have such nice screens on them that they didn't put it on on every window i believe that's maybe the bathroom but that's the bathroom so they didn't put screens on every window but i'll tell you the quality of their work is just a joy to joy to see it truly is so uh sitting here talking to terry he said that this uh engine combination this uh caterpillar and this allison 2000 transmission it tows their tow car back there like it's nothing. He said he forgets it's back there half the time. And whether he's towing or not, Jenny here, 10 miles to the gallon every single time. So you thought the outside was nice, right? Just wait till we go inside. Now, I'm already tall, and with this 20 gallon hat, there's just no way that it's gonna fit. So I'm gonna leave it outside. Let's go inside and see some of the things that uh, they've done to it. I'll tell you, doing what I do, I feel so lucky to get the opportunity to see inside so many neat rigs. 
I, I don't really show a lot of schoolies here on my channel, but I don't know. I, I saw this one and I just like I was like, I've got to share it. Well, I hit the doorbell. There's the doorbell. Every time I go through, I brush it with my arm. They've got their homemade Berkey water filter here, using the real Berkey filters, but made their own stainless steel fitted pots together. So that's how they keep their water filtered. I'm just astounded at the low mileage on this bus. 25,000 miles. How y'all doing? 25,000 miles. They bought it for $5,000. Now, off of Craigslist. I, I don't know how many more of those deals are, are still around, but these nice folks here, they found it. Sometimes you gotta drive, sometimes you gotta jump on a plane, but those deals are out there. They said they spent two years building the bus and all that's left, they want to put solar panels on the roof. Uh, can't think of a whole lot of other things. Got the little Christmas tree here. And they, they've been full-timing now in Jenny the bus for, I think they said seven or eight months. It was built in Tennessee and Ohio. So they got the little uh, T, what do they call those, T... Uh, tea candles for heat you know I really kind of thought that was kind of bogus but you know what I wasn't sure that was real but that is putting out a tremendous amount of heat I can't I can't hold my hand on it now Terry has uh, built a place for a wood stove he uh, hasn't decided which type of wood stove to put in Currently, they heat the bus with the, uh, the tea candles and the, and the clay pots and a little buddy heater. But uh, he said it'll be pretty soon he'll be picking out his wood stove. All the cabinets they built themselves. Tracy did the decorating. She said, I, I told him what to do, and he built it for me. But uh, custom countertop. Look at this sink, would you? With these like little feed bins you get at tractor supply or farm supply. What a beautiful sink. But uh, she said that this, uh, this clock here actually came from Germany. It's like a family heirloom. Got all their spices over here. Uh, one, of the, one of their brother-in-laws actually built these uh, 12 volt lights for them. All that's custom all the way around. It's just so much to see. He said there's two inches of foam insulation in the ceiling, two inches of insulation in the floor, foam core. Then they put the vinyl plank on top of it. Check out the footstool, y'all. That's a, that's a feed trough as well. I bet there's, yep. Keep their books and things in there. Custom couch. Tracy said that uh, she sits here. She's got a seat belt. They got a 12 volt fridge under here. They just slide it out. That's food storage. Look at the colors there. Welcome friends. Heck yeah. Got some stickers here. I'm going to be giving them. I, I see people that do these uh, videos like I do, and it seems like they jump and miss all the details. I'm afraid to miss the details because details are what sets aside everything and, and, and shows the quality and the thoughtfulness that goes into a build. The beauty bus. Now, they just have a pump-up shower that they use outside, and they say they go to town once a week and use like loves or uh, commercial showers. They're doing that for now. 
of course family pictures neat 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 I like the keys thing oh here we go here's one of these custom light switches check this out how's that for creative little keepsakes so no shower on this bus oh and the only water they have six gallons of fresh and I have permission to do this now I have they have six gallons of fresh and six gallons of uh, wastewater of course I put it together wrong let's try that and uh, Terry was real proud of his uh, little creation right here. Watch this. See if I can get it out. This is his cutting board. So he just slides that out. Sets it there on his door. And voila. Voila. Extra cabinet space. I've never seen anybody that collected rulers before. Not against it. Let's see. Uh, Terry likes to collect uh, car tags. I believe I'm going to go back to uh, Lady Bigfoot and get my. Uh, I got a couple tags I might add to his collection. They put a uh, like a little porthole up here on top of the factory emergency exit, so they can have some light. Isn't that a neat idea? And they have made their very own. They said they got this door from uh, like the potter's house. They put it on sliders. This is their bathroom. They built their very own uh, composting toilet. It's got a fan. I can hear it running now. Keep all the material dry. Neat, neat, neat. Clean as a pen. Very clean in here. Got a little mirror right here. Isn't this nice, y'all? Feels very, very homey. I'm kind of liking this area here. I can stand up inside fully. But it's not too bad over here. I think, uh, I think Terry said he's 5'11", 6 foot, and he can stand up in here. I just have to duck just a little bit. But I had the same problem inside of Lady Bigfoot. And I'm 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Just sometimes, you know, you run across a rig where somebody's just really gone and, and put in the extra effort for with the details. Now he's got, of course, he's got a huge garage here on the back that he puts his tools and stuff in. He says, Kevin, don't show that. It's too messy. I don't, I don't believe anything's a mess. So they got their laundry and stuff here. They put a foam bed back here. They got their smoke detector, got the carbon monoxide alarm. The only air conditioning that they've got is this uh, is the factory unit that came with the uh, with the bus. And they can run that off of diesel. He says it costs very little to idle this bus if he has to. But uh, he says most of the time we use a Max Air fan. So between a Max Air fan and a little buddy heater, they're doing pretty good with their heat and air conditioning. They got the little TV right here. So I think he said he had one battery right now. They're going to be adding to that. He has a small generator. If I remember correctly, it was a thousand watts. Got a sound bar there. This is a, a foam mattress that uh, they said they cut themselves. And at the end, he made a storage area here. There's storage up underneath. See the lock? So that hinges up. And they keep their extra blankets and stuff in there. This is absolutely neat and clean as a pen. More of those lights. You got the little 12 volt lights here.
Got his Max Air remote right there. Some good reading. Some better reading. How about that? I like it, guys. I really like it. You know, and one thing about a bus, they're built like tanks. Absolute tanks. You, know, you can see them all the time. Several hundred thousand miles on them. And uh, probably built a lot stronger than any RV you can buy. For certain. Gosh, I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. I don't want to miss anything. So they said with to get everything ready to roll, they have bungee cords and whatnot. They put keep these doors shut, put all their cups and stuff on a towel and put it inside the, uh, the water basin there. How cool is that? I mean, really. Nice, nice, nice. So much to see. I'm really, I can't get over how much heat. I can't get over how much heat I, that is. I can touch the clay for a minute, but I can't, I can't touch that at all for just a few seconds at, at best. So it does work. More fresh water. Is that under 25,000 miles? Yeah, it is. What a deal. What a deal. I didn't ask them the, the uh, final amount they have in it after fixing it up the way they want it. Got his backup camera or maybe his GPS right there. Maybe it's both. Yep, yep, couple plants. Okay, hope you enjoyed the tour of the inside and outside of this bus. But uh, got one more thing we got to do before we go. I think they wanted to put this one somewhere on the inside of the bus and this one on the outside. Got a nice sitting area here. Get my 20 gallon hat on. Let's get this. Let's get this sticker on. Talked to uh, Terry and Tracy about which one they liked the best. They said they thought the black round camper van sticker would look the best. Uh, I'm currently not selling these right now, but uh, if I meet you in person, I'll make you a couple in my pocket. So, they already told me I can put one on. That's kind of where they wanted it. Now, I, I can do this right, but I have to warn you in advance. The value of the blue bus, it drops in half, just like that. All right, there you go. So the wind picked up, and I hid back here on the inside of... Uh, of their bus sitting on the steps. I think this is a good place to end the video as any. So I'm gonna end it where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. All right, gotta go. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.